Hey guys, I thought I would do a quickie post uh, cardio vlog because I am um, very pleased with my with my workout and I wanted to share with you because a lot of you have been asking me, can you see actually the sweat? Can you see? Maybe it might be hard to see because they, it's dark purple. It's amazing how different these colors look. But anyway, I can see the sweat coming through. I'm sweaty, okay? Um, here's the deal. So, um, gosh, you know what? Let me go grab the piece. Well, I don't need to grab the piece of paper to show you. Um, so many of you have been asking me, um, you know, what's the training been like without the cardio? Do I miss it? Blah, 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 blah. So the main questions tend to be, am I missing, you know, doing what I was doing before? Um, am I missing doing what I'm doing? What's the update on my Achilles situation? Do I think I'll go back to that kind of stuff? Um, and then do I feel like I'm really getting in, you know, a cardio workout as the driplets of sweat are going down my back? Um, and then I think those are the main questions. Now, of course, <laughs> I'll try to answer them in this video and I will totally go out of order. Not that you would be surprised. So, um, I know this was number two. The update on my Achilles situation is I'm going to see Mark on, we're supposed to go Friday, but today's Thursday. Um, I have a ton of stuff that's on a deadline that's due tomorrow, so I can't make it down to see him. So I think I'm going to see him on Tuesday. Uh, I head to Florida on Thursday. Um, but I did just when I was out in my garage, I, I did kind of do a little bit of um, jumping and running in place. Wasn't getting the immediate like, uh-oh, kind of feeling in my ankle. So I have a feeling he'll let me start easing into some running, um, but that's gonna segue right into the answer to your next questions, which have tended to be, do I think I'll go back to the type of training? I say training in that it wasn't really training, it was just me you know, doing a bunch of cardio because that's what uh, a certain idiot got into my head. Um, which is, you know, old school bodybuilding rules of, you know, excessive cardio all the time. And that's the answer to everything. Um, but my answer is no. That doesn't mean that, you guys, I'll never tell you. I mean, I, I just, if I put in a DVD like a Turbo Fire or a Les Mills Combat, I, I always like, and Tybo, old Tybo, I love kickboxing. I love the music. I, I think it's fun. Um, that said, as much as I did enjoy that, I think what I'm enjoying more now is that I feel that what I'm doing is moving me in a direction. Does that make sense? Like with all that stuff, I put it in and I'd be like, well, you know, I have to do my cardio, I have to sweat, and this is fun. But when I finished it, I never had a feeling of, oh yeah, I, I feel stronger or I, I feel leaner or, I mean, I never felt anything other than, yeah, I just did it. And that was, you know, if I need to get my 300 calorie burn, that did it, you know? With this kind of training, A, every time I do the strength workouts, I'm going up in my weight, so I, I see that progress. I feel the progress, whether it's, and, and this is true with, with yoga too, you know, you, you feel your flexibility, your ability to do a, a pose longer, or to move into something you couldn't do before. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I, I feel progression. That's, that's what I feel differently about what I'm doing. And I've only, I've only been at this, what, five weeks. Um, and, and I wish I could say it's been five straight weeks of, I've done it perfectly every week, meaning the, the five full sessions. But as you know, you know, that first week I went to see Mark, saw him on Monday, got sick. So I didn't, I only had two or three days that week. And then the next week, so there've been, you know, I can't even say that I've been at this a full month with exactly, you know, five full days of training, full on with everything for a month. So it's really only been in some ways, let's say 70, I'll say 70%. I'm at 70% perfection, meaning sticking to the plan, the plan as it is, um, as stated, getting in all of the sessions that week, you know, like this week, um, being in, in LA, um, I'm counting kind of two separate mini sessions as one session. That's not what I'm considering full compliance. So just to say that, I feel like I'm making progression with this kind of training. So it, you know what I'm saying? It feels like I'm making headway. Whereas doing all of that cardio before, it was more like out of obligation. I felt like I had to do it. If I didn't do it, I, it was missing something. Um, so I have to say, I'm kind of surprised that 
I'm missing it less and less. You know, I swore when I started this, oh, I'm going to miss Turbo Fire, I'm going to miss all of that stuff. And it's not to say I don't think it's fun and I don't think it's great. Wow, look at these calluses. Um, that uh, I have them on both hands, it's from the kettlebells. Um, I just don't think I'll go back to it. Um, there is something to be said, eh, not really. You know, like when I was on this trip, I was, I was thinking usually I'd have some of my DVDs with me and I could do some, you know, cardio in the room, but I'm not feeling that sense of, oh crap, you know, if I don't get some cardio in, you know, I'm ruining my progress. I don't feel that way at all. It's just a totally different feeling. I, I actually feel like when I go into my sessions, I'm moving forward. Whereas before it was just kind of marking something on the wall and I didn't feel any different after doing all of that cardio. I hope that makes sense. So no, I don't see myself going back to that and I'm kind of surprised by that. Now, running on the other hand, I enjoy running. I enjoy going out, especially running outside. Whether it's running outside in cold weather when I'm up north, um, of course wearing something like Under Armour cold gear, um, hello, product plug there, but seriously. Um, I would not go just running outside randomly without some warm stuff um, or running even in the heat in Florida. I like to do that in the mornings. Um, so I am looking forward to being able to do that. Not that I would be, you know, heading back into doing, you know, training all the time for half marathons or anything. I might like to do one half marathon just to say I've done it. Um, picking at my hands. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share with you specifically, I don't know if I answered all the questions, but that was talking about, do I miss the last one? What's the deal with my Achilles? We'll get that tested out tomorrow. Um, and then just to tell you, I just did my, my cardio circuit today. And here's the thing I used the, the plan that Mark gave me is you do your, your warm up. um, uh, similar to the the myofascial I hope I'm saying that right the stretching that you do before the strength circuits this one is more like leg swings um, you pull your leg up and then you do a, a deep lunge walking lunges um, I don't remember you do some stretching in the beginning and then there's six different moves that you do and and the way that he has me do it is you do like kettlebell swings until your heart rate gets up into the red zone which for me is above 153 um, and then you let your heart rate come back down to the yellow zone, which is about 125 for me. And then you go right into the next move. And the next move could be the ultimate, for me, it's ultimate sandbag, um, yada, yada, yada. Now I have to give you, um, an FYI, both my, my polar heart rate monitor and my Under Armour 39, both of the things need a new battery. So right now I was kind of just, um, doing it without a heart rate monitor. And I think in the past I would have been like, oh, I can't do my workout without my heart rate monitor. No, it's not. You know, I, I know enough to know when my heart rate is up that high. It might not be exactly, but the whole point of this cardio is you get your heart rate up so that you're moving and you're grooving, right? And then you really jack it up, bring it back down. Really jack it up, bring it back down. And that's the whole workout. So you do six moves three to four times around. Now I did six moves three three sets. Um, and what I did, I don't know if you remember this, but I did originally he had me with the uh, uh, ball slams and I was using a, an oogie ball that I had. And I obviously have a lot of aggression. So I broke the ball. Um, oogie balls are not meant to be slammed like a Dynamax ball. So I'm hoping my friends at Dynamax are going to send me a ball so I can do ball slams because that is one of my favorite things to do. And it's so, it's such a, having one of those like killer Dynamax balls, um, is such a cool thing because I'm sorry, I'm picking at these calluses. I'm a blister picker. Can't help. You know, not only can you do that, but then you can also do, you know, I'm, I don't do CrossFit, but you can do, um, I think they call them wall balls, you know, where you, you, you take the big ball and you squat down and then you throw it up to the wall. I mean, it's just a really great, and then you can hold the ball on the floor and do push ups, planks, any kind of, I mean, it's so flexible. It's such a cool thing. Um, so what I did out there today was six moves I did. I start off with kettlebell swings and I use the 35 pound kettlebell. Um, I'm still a little out of breath. 35 pound kettlebell and then I stop and then I do muscle ropes, which I love. And then I do a uh, alternate sandbag where I, I set it down. I should know like the correct name for this. I set it down and I'm kind of pulling it up like this and squatting and I do it relatively fast. So in other words, like this would be the speed I'm going at. And I, I should um, weigh, find out what weight I'm using, but it, it's heavy for me. so. Heavy enough that I can move fast, but not light enough that it's not a challenge. So I would go like about this fast. Down, up, 
down, down, up, down, about that fast. And I was doing about 25 to 30 of each. Um, you know, enough to get my heart rate, so I had to stop and go. <sighs> so I did kettlebell swings, muscle ropes, um, the ultimate sandbag. Is that like a thrust? I don't even know. Who cares? Somebody's going to go, that's not really a thrust day. Whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's that. And then, um, then I would get on the BOSU with, so the BOSU is upside down, right? And I have the, um, the kettlebell, a 25 pound kettlebell. And so you're, you're on the BOSU balancing, right? And I would squat really deep, but then just come up and do 30 of these, just totally using your glutes, but obviously you have to stabilize too. So you do that for 30, 30 reps, then I get off the BOSU, and then I put one leg in the middle of the BOSU. This is what Jay used to do with me, and you do a reverse lunge. So you have one leg up on the BOSU, again, flat BOSU at the top, curved is on the bottom. You put your foot on the top, and you're gonna bend down, and then get up and kick. And what I do is 15 reps on each leg, and at the last five reps, I'm really kicking high and kind of reaching up with my hand. So at first I'm just kicking up and bringing my knee up here and going like this. Then I kick for the next five and then I kick and touch it really high. Just whatever. So it's like each five I'm getting higher and higher and higher and harder. That really gets my heart rate up. And then I do sandbag. This should be number six. Sandbag, kind of like a lunge. So you go, if I'm going back with my left foot. Okay, so right now my left foot's going back. I'm lunging down. The, the sandbag is here. You go down and then I swing it up and down. Oh, you can see that I'm sweating all over. See all the spots? <sighs> anyway, so it's uh, kettlebell swings, muscle ropes, um, ultimate sandbag squat thingy thruster, um, BOSU squats with the 25 pound kettlebell, and then uh, BOSU kicks, and then there's one other thing. Uh, the swings, kettlebell swings. So that's six, and I did three rounds of that. And here's the thing, totally sweaty, totally spent, feel great, and you know, again, every single one of those moves is using muscle in some way, you know? I mean, and that's the thing that I'm starting to realize about all the cardio I was doing. You know, yes, when I was using the, the hand weights and doing all of the, the kickboxing, yeah, of course you're, you're doing some, but this, it's like, you do kettlebells swings with with a 35 pound kettlebell and I know I'm going to work my way up and I mean everything is you know you're actually using your muscles and pushing your muscles not just flailing around and, and getting all sweaty I really have a problem with picking things sorry so anyway I wanted to let you know I love it I feel like I'm making progress I don't feel that I'll go back to you know all of the um, excessive cardio I was doing yes I had fun I'm not gonna lie the, I love the music and all that stuff, but I'm so enjoying what I'm doing now, and I'm also enjoying the fact that I actually have more time in my day. I didn't realize how much time I was allocating towards, you know, making sure I didn't eat, you know, before I would do my certain training and whatever, and this is so much more flexible, and, um, you know, now I can throw in, Mark said it was okay, you know, I can throw in my yoga sessions so that it doesn't, you know, impede um, in other words, drain me too much. I can throw in my yoga sessions for my kind of zen. Um, but I feel really good. I feel even better knowing that, you know, when I really, really am doing this, um, like I said, the first five weeks here, I don't feel like I've been 100%. But I'm not breaking my heart about it. You know, I'm not going to be that that difficult on myself and always, you know, you just I strive to do better. I'm, I'm learning that I need to just get over that instead of going, oh, that was bad. I should just use the whole weekend and, and I'm going to order pizza and have cookies and then I'll really start on Monday. Don't wash out what you've done. Just aim to do better the next day. I'm realizing that that was a big thing of mine in the past was thinking everything had to be perfect and really using that quest for perfection as, you know, an excuse to, you know, cheat or not work out or whatever. So don't let stupid stuff get in your way. Um, I'm going to go deal with these calluses. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I can't even press the button on this.